the, ah, well, clear success yesterday uh, from Elon Musk uh, with a SpaceX rocket completing a spectacular test flight after a year of, well, numerous failures. Let's talk about this with SpaceX, but Andy Lound, a very good morning to you. Good morning. Thank, Thank you for joining us. Back. Now, look, it's very interesting how often these, these SpaceX test flights, you know, something goes wrong, there's an explosion, and there's a little bit of, like, ha, 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 coming mm. from an awful lot of people, but really shouldn't, because this, this is really significant, and it is the future of space travel and possibly for mankind. Explain how significant this is. Yeah, this is very significant because, of course, <laughs> very interesting looking at some of the other channels. It was interesting how when there was a failure, they had it wall to wall, and when there's a success, they sort of, oh, by the way, it was a success. Yes. And yet, this is really critical. The stage step by step testing program, this one was unbelievable. He's got it pushed to the very, very limits, in fact, beyond its normal limits, and it was success successful, which now is the next stage can go forward. Developing a spacecraft like this will change space travel forever. I mean, this will be it. This will be a spacecraft that will refuel in space. It can go to the moon, refuel again, go over to Mars and potentially distribute tons of material to other worlds, possibly or even up to 100 scientists, technicians and engineers to Mars. I mean, think of that, yeah. 100. In, in our people. lifetime. I mean, that, that's the thing, because look, these are unmanned space flights, because obviously these there's are, a safety yeah. aspect. But the, the NASA plans to use this rocket. It is interesting, isn't it, that Elon Musk can build these rockets um, quicker, cheaper and better than, than NASA can, which is quite telling, isn't it? Yes. Um, and and the, the plan is to go to the moon, land on the moon in the next couple of years. But in the meantime, Elon Musk does want to send a, an unmanned probe to Mars. Yes, he does, because if he wants to send people to Mars, he needs to send the infrastructure to Mars. You can't, you don't yeah. have the infrastructure already there on the planet. So these unmanned vehicles, these big vehicles, could actually distribute um, survival equipment, uh, engineering equipment, power systems, habitats could be distributed to the planet in w advance. Water, presumably? Yeah, well, you'll take some water, but water is available on Mars. There's yeah. a lot of water on Mars, so you could actually mine the water there. There's plenty of ice and water probably under the surface, yeah. which is why the rovers have been going to Mars and the orbiters are there for a long period yeah. of time. It's looking for the water. So you'll be able to use water from the local resources. So that's really, really useful. And that because the water then is hydrogen, and, oxygen. And, and what, what's the point of us going to the moon? Because a lot of people say, oh, these things cost billions and billions yeah. of dollars. What is the point of this? How do we benefit people starving mm. on Earth? Why are you doing this? Yeah. Yeah, a number of reasons. One, the technology alone that you deal out from this can be used down here on the Earth, which make life better and easier here. Everyone's whinging about green technology. Well, I'm afraid space science is green technology. So if they want it, this is the best way to get it. Also, we're running out of resources on the Earth, rare earth metals, things like iridium, material like that, helium-3, which is an isotope which could be used in nuclear fusion power stations. That's available on the Moon. Uh, and we have raw materials, for instance, on the asteroids and places like that. Yeah. So if you don't want to dig up the Earth, I mean, you get the same green, green people, hug, tree huggers, complaining about one to thing or another but this is one way of protecting yeah. your planet yeah. by doing it but presumably also because we haven't got such a you haven't, haven't got an atmosphere on the moon yeah they, they want to use the moon basic basically for where we're going to launch space exploration from yes. for mars that's that's absolutely right it has a there that has a great potential because you have to get to uh to leave the earth twenty five thousand miles per hour but if you actually already get to the moon anyway um then you actually have a, an easier point to start launching from makes yeah. life a little bit easier to do that refueling on on the moon and things like that yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's, post. this is I mean, that, this, that, this is this is absolutely sort of game changing stuff in terms of what he's developed this is a complete game changer because once he's got this up and running and it will be up and running as you can see the test was spectacularly successful yeah you are going to see the whole solar system open up not just to human space flight but also to robotic vehicles that could be sent out there on a much more efficient and better base i mean in theory with his vehicles he could launch say 10 or 15 robotic probes in one go and get them flying because out there because it's so that large that and would, yeah, and bring the rocket better. back. You're not building a new rocket every single oh, time. Oh, no, no. This is it. The reusability is really critical here because that brings the cost down. And the more cost, the more you do, the more cost effective yeah. it's like. And you becomes. can go, there was some talk about you can go to, you know, go to the moon and turn around like a, you know, like an easy jet flight, you know, goes goes to Paris and turns around in half an hour. I mean, we are, we're talking amazing stuff. I think it's amazing, this wonderful victory uh, in terms of this, this great success. But as you, I agree with you, much more coverage when there's an explosion. Very interesting. Andy Loud, a space expert and enthusiast, I think you're safe to say. It was wonderful stuff. Claire, I mean, this is great stuff, isn't it? Of course it is. We all need to get behind this because...
because it's absolutely fascinating and really imperative that we mm. keep looking beyond our this, own This planets. is the future. This is like yeah. saying, well, don't, oh, don't bother going to find the Americas. No, yeah. no, don't what's bother. The point? What's the point? All that cost. Yeah, this, this, is, this, is, what, this is what human beings do.